Canadian Vito signature match, not enough. You recall he and Trinity continued their assault on Kenny, the post-match beatdown, which leads us to tonight. Let's go through the rules. We mentioned the three chests around the ring. Again, two of them are empty. One is full of weapons. There is a rugby ball in the ring with a key attached. The key will open the locks on all three chests. The match is won by pinfall or submission. However, it cannot be won until the chest with all the weapons is open. And there you see the rugby ball that we mentioned. There it is, Mike. You've got to get that. And you've got to, you've got to hope you get lucky on the first shot because you wasted effort. You open the trunk and it's empty. It won't be good. As Vito right here goes on the offensive right away. Again, two of those chests are empty. One of them, however, full of weapons, as we see Vito gaining possession of the rugby ball. There you see the key on the end of the ball, and that key will open up the chest. We'll find out which of the three has the weapons inside. Oh, you see right there as Vito just kind of kind of playing to the crowd, and the ball uh -oh. now gets loose. Where's the ball go? The ball just shot up in the air. Again, it remains. submission but the match cannot be won until the chest that has all the weapons inside has already been opened and now iris pat has got the rugby ball in hand but just in the time that it took for him to drop out to the floor that was the only thing that Vito was looking for i'll tell you what and i think about this you got trinity out here with Vito as it sits in could be a good advantage right there to Vito, and obviously referee Rudy charles is going to have to keep an eye on it as you see right there there she is trying to open up one of the trunks and trinity in the ring and she's got one of those chests, one of those trunks already opened up, you see, using the key. And that baby's empty. There's nothing in there. There's no weapons in there. And Vito cuts off Kenny. Oh, as you can see right there, he's like, you opened the wrong one. How could she be, how can I mean, he be blaming you know? her? Absolutely, you gotta take a chance somewhere. You know, Mike, again, we got so many things to talk oh, you're about. Not kidding. Uh, one of the things is in the tag team division, not only is Team Canada going to get a shot at three live crew, winner gets a title shot, we're going to find out who's the best. Is it Triple X or America's Most Wanted? Because they're going to start a best of two out of three. You know, we, many people have talked about America's Most Wanted and Triple X being the best two tag teams in TNA. We'll find out starting next week, AMW Triple X, match one in a best of three series. The team that comes out on top in that series also gets a title shot, as well as that match that you mentioned. It's Team Canada, three live crew for number one contendership, as we see Vito and Trinity opening up. Yep, another empty case. Well, now that we, there's no doubt where the, where the case is full of the weapons. Now you've got to use that key right away and get to it. And don't waste any time, as Vito knows where it is now. Yeah, pretty obvious now which one has the weapons, and Trinity's got that as Vito continues the assault on Irish Pat. Uh-oh, now they're stacking up the chest, they're stacking them together. Ah! Using a little teamwork action right there between Trinity, which I don't think should be allowed in this, but they've not stopped it now. He just takes the empty case and just slams it right down to the back of the oh, no. oh, He's got that chest across the back of his head. Oh, oh man, you saw that hit. You saw the force of the real chest, and he hit the other chest on top of that Kenny's head. Talk about that gauntlet match. Gauntlet. Yes, for the X Division title next Wednesday as well. Talk to Russo. He said 13 participants have already accepted. He expects there to be 20 names once we finally have that gauntlet for the gold next week. And Michael Shane and Kazarian, they're really going to be impacted. Well, I'll tell you what, you said that right because here's how we're going to be able to see Trinity kick. I respect Kenny with a great kick right there. One of the two, and they're going to have to figure it out amongst themselves. Either Shane or Kazarian has to start first in the gauntlet, and one of them will start last. That's just about going to guarantee and ensure that they won't be left over at the end. It's Russo's plan to clear up that confusion with the Co-Ex Division champs. And speaking of confusion, looks like there's communication problems here with Vito and Trinity again. We mentioned that gauntlet. We've already heard that there are superstars coming over from all over the world. Japan, Mexico, Canada. England as well. Oh, man, it's going to be huge. All next week. What in the world's going on here, Trinity? Wants to be the one to open the chest. Vito wants to be the one to open the chest. This has just gotten weird. It sure has. And now he takes her up into the air. And he turned his back on Iris Pat Kenny. That's never a wise thing to do when you see the collision in the corner. Trinity drops down. Right in the street spot. And Iris drops down Vito. Stunned him. 
tell you right now why you've got to be go down, use the rugby ball, use the key. That's what you have to do because you have to get that chest of the weapons open before you can get the pin or submission. Oh, wait a minute. Coming around right behind us. Clint Gilberti, what in the world is this all about? Oh, man, trying to get some revenge on Kenny as Kenny was getting ready to open up the chest. I think I know what it's all about. It's Glenn Gilberti covering for Vito. Glenn Gilberti now going for the going for the rugby ball with the key on it. He's got it in his hands. And now he's going to be able to open up his chest. Where's he going now? What the hell is he going out of the building? He's taking the rugby ball and leaving the ringside area. Well, nobody can open it. The fans can't in to the chest of the way. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, there's David Young. I just saw him. David Young cut him off just as Gilberti was headed out the door. And David Young, I guess David Young had, a, had maybe a difference of thought as David Young is headed back towards the ring. Repeated shots on Gilberti. David Young, who was, we saw earlier leaving this place, thought he wouldn't wrestle. I guess he decided to just leave Gilberti in the car. He's got the rugby ball. Chair shot by and David. Gets it to ben Kenny. He tossed the, the rugby ball with the key to Kenny. Kenny's got that chest. And he's and his weapons in five. Oh, he's got it. You can see on their home. That the Irish screen. And when Vito turns around. Oh, there it is. And he just ran one ball right after another. Repeated shot by oh, Ben Kenny. God, takes God, down Vito. Trinity still in the ring. All of a sudden, she puts on the brakes and having second thoughts. What or is he trying to get her a little protection? Oh, she goes right through Fat Kenny. And then Fat Kenny goes ahead and gives her one for good measure. More problems between Vito and Trinity. What's left in that chest of weapons? Oh, as we see the chain painted in green right here. And Irish Pat Kenny has got that steel chain wrapped around his fist, wrapped around his arm, and he's going to turn it loose on Vito. Oh!